while. This is our last day in Perth. And yeah, I think we've overstayed our welcome anyways. So we're gonna check out the bell tower and then I don't know what. We're a little Perthed out. I think we've seen everything that you need to see in Perth and then some. And uh, so tomorrow we get up early, we have to catch our flight to Sydney. And we'll see what Sydney's all about. Since we've already been to Sydney before, it'll be interesting to see what it's all about now, this time, what our impressions are. Okay, so we're in the bell tower now, and these have bells that come from something, some old church, St. Martin's, I guess. This is the oldest bell in Australia, and at 10.30, which is in about nine minutes' time, we have tickets, so we get to, I guess, ring the bells, or do something with them, so. Not really sure how this works, but I guess we'll find out shortly. Okay, so this is level two and it has a display of bells and clocks and things. It says, please do not open the curtains while the bell ringers are performing. I think we're bell ringers. <laughs> Not really sure. I guess we'll find out. This is looking out towards Elizabeth Key on the other side, which is uh, Fremantle. No, that's not Fremantle. That's not Fremantle? No, that's oh. the other side of Perth. Okay, it's the other side of Perth, wherever. Fremantle somewhere. Fremantle's way down the river. No, oh, okay, never mind. Whatever. Please do not touch the poo poo. Poo poo. Poo poo. Is anyone a bell ringer? A bell ringer? Yes. Bell ringer. Bell ringer, sorry. He's working on pronunciation. I did it once at my church. Oh, really? A long time ago. Okay. I work for Bell Canada. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're Canadian. Oh, you're Canadian yeah. too. Sort of way. And uh, can I ask? May I ask where you're all from? Canada. 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 Canada? 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 So you probably uh, recognize this church. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's where the the bells are from. The bells that are all up. Twelve bells. So this is a live view of the bells. Um, we're gonna chime the bells that are down, not the ones that are up. Um, and we've got the bells from Saint Martin's in Kew. It's the second large largest set of bells in the world. Wow. This is the Lightest bell? Let it down, let it flash. Let's try. If you want to stop it, you can't just let loose because otherwise you might fly up in the air. <laughs> what we want here. Um, one last thing before we start um, ringing the bells, I want to tell you something about this bell. Yeah. So, this is the only bell, the one. Um, yeah, if you didn't know. The big one. Yes, the big, the big, the big one. one. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, it's the um, only bell that has a name. It's called uh, Zachariah. It's named after the vicar of St. Martin's in the field. Uh -huh. uh, and it weighs uh, It's around one and a half tons. So that's pretty, a big bell. pretty heavy. Um, and because um, bell ringing is more about technique than about um, strength, even women can uh, ring the bell if they are well. Yeah, if they know how to. Um, 
So we have one very special bell ringing lady here, and she was doing it. Um, um, she was ringing this bell until she was seventy years old. Seventy. Yeah, and she's still doing it, but not this bell because it's just too much. So, how um, maybe we can do two groups at the same time, so I can take photos of everyone as well, if you want. So who would like to start? Maybe. You would like to start? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start as well? And if anyone wants me to take photos, I can. You too? Yes? Do you have a. Yeah, he's going to. Yes? Oh, okay. And heavy bells. You have to come away because then you're going to take a picture of them. But you've got enough. No, you don't need to pay as well. Yes, so we're, um, first going to let you start, and then I'm going to come and go to you. Can you hold it? Um, you can go this round, but you can also go the other round, which you prefer. Yes, so both, yeah, both would be good. Hands on here, and then start pulling it. And then start to stop the bell now. So start to, yes, ah, you sure you're not a bell ringer? <laughs> That's good. And now you can go. And then stop it. Try to stop it. I'll try to help you. So try to keep. Yes. Good. If you want, you can continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see if you can. And then try to stop it a little bit more. Yes. 
to stop the bowel now. You're doing a language. <laughs> Don't let go of it. <laughs> Walter looks like he's going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> be good exercise. <laughs> hmm. So this is inside, above where we were a few minutes ago, and these are the bells. Now there are more than seven. We had seven poles to use, but they have more than that. And this is at the back of the bell tower, looking out over Elizabeth Twe. Twe, K, Que, Key. That's the word I'm looking for. And I'm not sure where Walter went. Oh, he did do it. He did go around. Uh, you did go around? Okay, all right. He made it around alive. He's red faced though, panicking.
think of a movie. Think of a really, what, what, once was a really bad movie, but now it's very popular and it made it a stage play. And it involves a character called Frank and Furter. Most of these double feature science fiction, the theme song for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Deborah and Steve a couple of days ago, but we're going back, quite frankly, because we've done everything else. And now we're a little confused. We were thought we were walking in the right direction, but this sign says we're supposed to go in the opposite direction we thought we should be going in. So Walter's got out his GPS on his phone, and he's got the look on his face like, I don't know where the hell we're going. which I'm pretty much used to. So, we shall see what we shall see. Well, I'd almost say follow the sign, but... Okay, still on our way to Kings Park. Look at this, way up this hill. And this is where we came from. We're about halfway. Holy crap. Where's the escalator? Okay, made it to the top of the hill. Here's the view. Yeah, it's not exciting. Another view of the city. Another view of the city from the park. Central Park in New York City. Biggest inner city park. I don't know if it's in the world, but it is in Australia, anyways. Okay, so we stopped in the park at this place. Walter ordered the falafel. Not exactly what he was expecting. He got falafel balls on top of green greens with it's supposed to be a cucumber lemon dressing or something on it. Oh, you got green stuff in there. What's the green yeah, there's stuff? there's a uh, that looks like pickle. Oh, well, they call it cucumber or something. But I don't know. Um. Oh, well, it looks more like pickle than cucumber. I got the Hawaiian pizza. They do make good pizza here in in Australia. I found so far. More of the botanical gardens, uh, Kings Park. We were here the other day with uh, Steve and Deborah, and I took a picture of that before, but now we're seeing it from a little different perspective because we have a little bit better idea of where we were. When we were with them, we weren't really sure. We were just going along with the ride, so but here we've walked up to this part so far. It's a very nice garden. Well, it's not just a garden, it's a park. It's a huge park. But, oh, 
Oh yeah, and here we go. I raised my camera and look what I got in the picture. Yeah, there wasn't anybody around for a while and suddenly they materialized. <laughs> so go down that way? Yeah. Oh wait, I'm taking a picture. <laughs> So this is all part of the botanical garden, and we're going to go down and walk through it. It's down there a little further. Let's see what we see. And so we are enter entering the Western Australia Botanic Garden, Botanical Garden, Botanic, Botanic, not Botanical, Botanic Garden. It's kind of interesting entranceway to it. There's those lovely birds in the background. I won't miss those when we leave here. They're noisy creatures. And look at the strange things you find in gardens. Ooh, that's crazy. Take a look at yourself. No, I don't have to. That's why I'm on this side of the camera. And I am absolutely beautiful today wearing my hat for the first time, which isn't my hat, it's Walter's hat. But I think I've gotten too singed too many times here, and uh, I think I should be careful about that. Considering I have heard that Australia has a hole in the ozone layer. And I really don't want to come home with uh, skin cancer. Coming home though with a pretty red face. Sunburnt country. Yeah. Oh, well, how, how appropriate. Sunburnt country. Okay, so... Uh, how do I reverse this camera shot? Well, I guess you can't when you're doing it. What's no. that button do? No, that's not nice. Yeah. I don't know what that button does. It doesn't do anything. Okay, there we are. We look like the... Oh, my hand's over the lens. Okay, sorry. Here we go. We look like the Bobsy twins here with their hats and the whole bit. Yeah. Old man in the park. Last time you're going to see that. Somewhere up here is the wildflower pavilion. Follow the bird. This is our personal guide to the gardens, right here. The bird. Hello, bird. Pretty used to people. Follow the bird. Oh, oh there he goes. In the distance, there sounds like there might be a fountain. And there is. We were on this the other day, too, but apparently this used to be a glass bridge, but I guess they had some problems with it, so it's no longer glass. So the signs still tell you that you're walking towards the glass bridge. The only reason we know that it's not anymore before we saw it is because that's what Deborah and Steve told us, and I guess there's some holes in up at the top where you can sort of look through, but I don't know what happened. Oh, he said the glass started cracking. Oh. No doubt due to their severe cold climate in the winter time when we make the glass crack. Yaha! 
just picture this all in glass because I'll bet you that was something when it was kind of takes away from it now although you have the glass sides and you can see out over towards now that is free mantle over there right no, it is not what it's way down there okay it's somewhere we were there check out the video you'll see what I mean that's where the two bridges are the two bridges Oh, yeah. Or, okay. Actually, I think it's even more. I think Fremantle is even further than that. Oh, all right. Because we passed all the entry places. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, it's down there somewhere. Oh. So, this is what we just came across, and you can look way down. So, it's a bit of a ways. Now, this is what a fern really looks like, but in our country, they're tiny little things. And we, they have things that are seed, seed pods, and they're called fiddleheads. And they're usually kind of small, and you can buy them in the grocery store at certain times of the year, frozen, and you cook them up in butter. I've never really eaten one, but they're supposed to be quite tasty, but those are huge fiddleheads, those round things in there, and down there. That's a big fiddlehead. One of those will feed a family of four. These are interesting, whatever they are. They're those ones I think were at the side of the road. Oh, is that the ones he's telling us look yeah. like upside down ice cream cones? Yeah. They don't look like upside down ice cream cones to me, but so what do they call them? Wheat belt? I don't know, maybe that's not one, but I thought that's what one was. I don't like penis. <laughs> penis, penis. Little water garden, the waterfall. We were down by this too the other day. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for Perth. We're back out of Kings Park, had another beer, and now Walter's here looking at his phone, and we have to reorganize our suitcases and get our, everything ready for our flight tomorrow that goes out at like, was it 9.20? 9.20 a.m., so we have to leave, get there early. But we have to leave here about 6. Joy of bliss. On our way to the last part of our Australian adventure, and off to Sydney. So the place that started it all a year ago for us. So we'll see how it looks, um, we'll see how it looks to us the second time around. Yeah, second time around. Anyways, feeling a little tired right now. Um... We walked about 10 kilometers. We've worked, walked further. Um, so anyways, and we're gonna eat up whatever's left over in the fridge because none of that can go with us. Ooh, we have booze to drink. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so enough for today. See you in Sydney. Bye-bye.